uh, I wanted to put this to the panel. Has online dating, how has that affected game? Is, is online dating like, or it has, well, Tinder, let's just say, has Tinder kind of killed game? Has it killed the approach? Or do you just have to use that, you know, to, you know evolve along with, with the technology? All right. So uh, I want to speak on this because mm -hmm. I, I mentioned it before. Girl, nobody, girls in New York, they use Tinder. They don't like using it. I mean, they like the, having the dates and the sex, but they're, they're ashamed of using it and they don't <laughs> like it. So like I was saying, if you can work the conversation into kind of making fun of it, have the meta conversation, like it's people are losing their touch, like um, they should be attracted to one another and get off the screen. If you can have that meta conversation, my God, it's such a good hook. So, I mean, in that way, but you have to be a couple steps ahead of the game. You have to be able to, you know, realize the situation and what's going on. But that conversation is, I mean, it is just beautiful to have. And it's bait and it's attraction. So, has Tinder killed, Tinder's killing the nightlife. Has it killed game? Nothing's ever going to kill game. No. 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 And and just real quick, if a girl is on Tinder, you're never going to find high quality girls on Tinder, at least theoretically. Um, you hear all the time, Tinder is just the bottom of the barrel. If a girl really, if a girl really was a nine or ten, she wouldn't have to use Tinder. Again, she's getting dick thrown at her from all directions all the time. So if a girl is on Tinder, obviously that that's a red flag in terms of look. I think Roycey uh, did something called uh, the uh, the myth or the legend of the secret internet fatty, and uh, you know, like like different camera angles, or she says I'm a foodie. These are the kinds of girls you see on Tinder. Yeah, you know, I, I you know I'm a strong woman. I've got five kids. I've got five beautiful beautiful luscious kids and if you can't handle my curves then don't don't yeah okay well guess what i guess i'm not handling those curves <laughs> and jo jonathan in in japan is is tinder a thing is is uh, online dating a thing no it is it is um i used to live in one of those uh sexual zones uh i lived in the las vegas of uh tokyo it's called Roppongi, and it is like the luxury nightclub district um, like Vegas, you can't live there forever. So I got out, but, <laughs> um, no, man, it, it's, uh, I would say Tinder here is different than Tinder in the States. I've used it in both. Tinder was hot in 2014, 2013. Um, fat girls started getting on there around 2015, looking for friends. <laughs> and, like, uh, and now every girl's on Tinder. Like before I used to have some, like, like some dirty, dirty raw encounters off Tinder when it first started. And I, I'm not like some super alpha chat, but I'll never met. I hooked up with this Vietnamese girl in Orlando. She's like, just come over, let's do the nasty and get out. And I came over, I was trashed. And I remember like just met her, just did every God awful thing to her. She loved every moment of it. And we just were on our way. Like she drove me to where I needed to be the next day. And now, like every girl is on Tinder with like a fucking huge bio. Basically, Tinder has been like infested by normies and the average girl is like fat and ugly now. So mm -hmm. um, in the States at least. So I would say that like the only thing Tinder in my opinion has done to girls, it has given every single girl an overinflated Woo! sense of value. Straight up. Yeah, I just want to add to that. Every since girl, you, just, since like you just every girl that. thinks that they're th better than they are, but you're not special. I just want to fuck you, just like yeah. every yes. other guy in yes. your well, life. Did Tinder give that to him, or did every thirsty guy that showed up to her a thousand? There it is. Well, that's what I was about to say, guys. I mean, yeah. um, you know, I don't bother with any of that shit if I'm being honest. But the uh, but the thing that I see a lot of, and you know, my private community, there's guys posting screenshots of uh, you know Tinder bios. People send me stuff and DMs and emails all the time, and it's like there's this common theme where it's like almost women tend to use it as a uh, like a gravity suction device, almost like it's a black hole to suck people, well, to suck men into their beta orbit of follow me on you know Instagram or follow yeah. me on my Snap or some shit like that. And yeah. it's like, yes, are yes. you actually looking for a real connection or are you just looking to add more beta orbiters to the orbit to you know uh, validate who you are sort of thing, right? Yes. I, I, um, I put out a post the other day and I said, um, you know, if you're using social media, you know, you know, if you've got a woman in your life and she's using social media and it's a public profile, it's not private and she's not selling anything, meaning she's not running a business, a product or a service. All she's doing is, is looking for attention. You know, that's really all that it is. And actually, the question that I kind of wanted to go to with uh, Goldman, um, you know, 
you see a lot of guys talk about stuff nowadays like it's not worth uh, dating, it's not worth cold approaching because of Me Too, sexual harassment charges, obesity epidemic, uh, you know, f like overinflated feminist uh, values. Um, what, fuck, what else do they complain about? Uh, overinflated egos and blah, blah, blah. Like that's changed over the years. I mean, you're like, you're not a spring chicken, but you're not an old man. How, like, how has that affected you? Is that, is that an area where sometimes just like, you know, forget it, I can't be bothered or like, where are you at with that, you know, change in the way that the sexual marketplace has kind of evolved? Uh, no, for guys like that, especially guys who are red pill aware, because these are, this is harsh reality and it is difficult to deal with at times, but there's, there has to be a separation, like deal with the reality. And then, like I said before, if you can kind of joke about it and look at it from a meta standpoint and like, it is funny, like the world is fucked up. Like it, understand that joke about it. And like I said, this is, this is such bait to girls. They love talking about it. And so you can run with it, man. People need to need, to, need to have connections. We need to have sex. It's always going to be out there. You just have to kind of run with it and use it to your advantage. So like I said, deal with the reality on your own, get mad if you need to talk to guys about it. But then when you go out there, have fun with it. Cause it is funny. That's where comedy comes in, man. Life shouldn't be a tragedy. It's tragic at times, but make it into a comedy. And then, uh, then it's beautiful. So that's, that's my advice. Like you gotta, you gotta make fun of this shit. Yeah. Well said, man. Well said. Thank you.